Good afternoon. Um, I'm Jim Anderson. I'm a lead forecaster here at the Northern Indiana Weather Forecast Office. And just want to give you a little bit of update on this uh, major winter storm that's going to come through the area on Thursday night through Saturday. Keep in mind, this is holiday travel period. So, um, you know, we expect a lot of you folks to be out, you know, traveling. But uh, please consider traveling either early, so Wednesday or early Thursday, um, or putting it off until, you know, a sun Sunday. As uh, we will, as you'll see here, we're going to have some very dangerous conditions that could set up. So the key messages here are that the winter storm watch that is in effect through from Thursday night through Saturday. Um, and Thursday, we'll start to see a brief light wintry mix early on in the day. Um, and then that'll begin turning all over to uh, a little bit of rain. And then um, by afternoon, late afternoon and early evening, we'll see a very quick change over to all snow um, because we're going to have very cold temperatures through, uh, come behind this front. Um, so we're going to go from, you know, temperatures in the 30s, 30 degrees around there, 30 to 35. And uh, within a matter of, uh, you know, you know, an hour or two, uh, they're going to drop very quickly into the teens. And by Friday morning, we'll be into the single digits. So it's this is going to be a very cold air mass behind this uh, Arctic front. And then uh, Friday, Friday night, we've got snow uh, and then very windy also. Uh, and then Saturday and Sunday, um, so Saturday we'll have the gusty winds again with some lake effect snow showers near the lake. Uh, but again, dangerous cold. We're, we're going to get into this here, but uh, that's one thing to remember that there's many impacts with this storm. So I try not to focus on the actual snow amounts, uh, but think of these other uh, impacts that I'll, I'll mention here uh, shortly. So the potential for some heavy blowing snow, uh, right now we're looking at basically north of the line of US 24, uh, we're looking for the potential for greater uh, than six inches of snowfall. Uh, looks like the further north you go, uh, the more snow you'll see, and especially the closer you are to the lake, you'll, you'll see uh, more snowfall in those areas. Uh, the winds uh, are going to be no joke either. We're looking at... Um, you know, Friday and Saturday winds of 50 to 55 miles an hour. Um, and those near the lake, we may even see 60, around 60, that gusts of 60 miles an hour. So definitely uh, keep an eye on that because with those strong winds, uh, you're going to have the cold temperatures, like I said, single digits by Friday. Uh, sa Saturday also will have single digits for highs, mind you. Um, and then low temperatures will be in the, uh, you know, low single digits to even some, some negative numbers. Um, so with those strong winds and those cold temperatures coupled together, we're going to have some very dangerous uh, wind chills. As you can see here, here's a map of the wind chills. Uh, the further south you go in our, our forecast area, uh, the colder they, they become. So the timing right now on the actual system coming in is uh, we're at medium, uh, but we're getting a better handle on it as it comes in. Uh, our snow amounts, we're still low confidence on these. We'll have a better idea in the coming you know, hours and days. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And then, um, you know, the bitter cold, we're very, very uh, confident in the bitter cold and gusty winds. Uh, and then our travel impacts, we're also, uh, you know, we're really trying to let you guys know that, hey, this is going to be a very dangerous situation. So uh, if you end up getting stuck out somewhere in a snow drift with those blowing, gusting winds, uh, you may be stuck there for quite a while, especially on the rural roads where they may not plow for a day or two after this uh, snow falls. So just something to keep in mind. We really are stressing to not travel during these days, so Friday and Saturday. Uh, so basically get all the supplies you need ahead of time um, and do all your traveling ahead of time, you know, when you're going to visit your family or whatnot. So um, here again is a little bit of a forecast timeline overview. Uh, as you could see, um, you know, Friday, uh, Friday morning, late Thursday and Friday morning, early Friday morning, we've got those strongest wind gusts and very dangerous wind chills go all the way into Sunday. Um, so, but 
Friday and Saturday will be the peak of those wind chills. And of course, during all this, we're going to see some snow and blowing snow, and we could very well see some blizzard to near blizzard conditions possible. Now, keep in mind, you don't even have to have it snowing in order to get blizzard conditions. Uh, you could get very strong winds that just kick up the snow that's already on the ground and lower those visibilities, and, and that would be a blizzard. So, um, so that's, uh, that's kind of what we've got here. Um, here's some winter here's some preparation steps you can take um you know to prepare your home your vehicle uh, monitor your forecast and have a plan and remember keep your you know we know sometimes people do have to travel but um you know i would definitely highly recommend in this uh, case uh to to not travel this uh this friday and saturday so uh that's all from me for now uh we'll have an update uh tomorrow so you have a good day everybody and be safe